I'm super excited, guys, because we get to go back to oh, my favorite topic is nature. Whoa, my eyes hurt. Look at all those, those colors. It's just so many colors. I love it. They hurt in a good way. All right, so I'm gonna start by doing like a curved diagonal line that starts from here and goes right there. And see how like I'm drawing really light, you know? You don't have to draw light like this if you don't want to, but I'm, I'm gonna draw a little light because I'm gonna eventually erase, right? Or you could add if you decide you don't wanna erase. And see, I'm kind of using this side and I'm putting a little bit of that tone. And I'm also kind of keeping my tone light, but later on, I'm gonna go dark but I don't want to go dark just yet because I want to be able to do a little bit of detail in there. And so I want to choose where I'm going to go dark. And so for now, I'll leave it like that. And so this whole time I've just been adding. And then if, if you want to subtract to make it so this is not such a perfect curve, look at that, I can go in there and erase that. But I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of keep on adding. Look at that, I'm just going to keep on adding. And you know what? Let's erase. You know, we, you know, the eraser is feeling left out. You never use me. Come on. I need some time too. Let's hang out. I always hang out with uh, the lead side of the pencil. Hang out with me too. So I want to show you guys this one because this is the one I'm going to do first. And I don't know the name of this one. My, my brain only can fit a few names. <laughs> and so I'm sure this has like a specific name, but I'm just gonna call it a brain coral because it just kind of looks like a brain to me. It's, it's like a circle and in the inside, the texture and pattern, it's like a maze. So I'm gonna start out by using this shape because it's already kind of circle-ish. There's my ish word again. Uh, and so I'm gonna go ahead and extend it in into this inner part and see if I were to make it too dark, it would be hard to see some of these marks. And that was the reason why I kind of made it a little bit lighter. All right. And then when I'm done with that, then I can kind of do my squiggly maze pattern. See? There we go. It's starting to look like something. Over here, you could do this and rough up the edges a little bit. See that? and not make it a perfect, 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 you know, circle. But you can, because I mean, that's pretty, pretty cool. That's pretty close to being smooth. So you can kind of keep it more on the smooth side. I'm just going to mess it up just a tad bit from, you know, for my taste. Uh, I'm going to do another one like right here. See that? And it just kind of peeks out. I'm actually going to make this one bigger. See that? It's bigger, but you don't see all of it. And I'm going to space the lines a little bit further apart from each other. And it's just gonna make those areas or the maze look a little bit larger compared to this one. And maybe, uh, maybe another one right here. There you go. See, I just kind of felt like I needed one there and I just kind of go with my feelings. All right, cool. And so I'm gonna do this one right here. And I'm gonna call this one a fan coral, even though I don't know if that's really the name because it reminds me of a, of a fan. So basically it starts out thin and it gets thick. And then if you see the ends are kind of square-ish, see that? And they all kind of stem from like this center area right here and they all kind of radiate off of that center area. They kind of come off of it. If you look at the textures, let me, let's go even a little bit closer. They're all kind of like little dots. Here's some big dots and there's some little dots. And you could do a few squiggly lines that kind of go down too as well, see? So I would, I would use a combination of squiggly lines and little dots to, to do the texture. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that here's the point where it radiates from. And I'm gonna do a really kind of blurry fan shape for now. See that? And then I'm gonna push hard, and that's using the side. And then I'm gonna push hard and kind of go, here's one. And maybe squiggly, squiggly. Here's another one, squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. Maybe here's another one. Um, over here is a kind of medium to small-ish one. Squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. And maybe we just kind of need to put a small one. There you go. Maybe a few more kind of squiggly lines going down the middle and all the little dots, see that? Okay, 
That looks cool. Uh, we should probably put more than one, right? So let's put another one here. All right, squiggly, 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 squiggly a little bit at the top, squiggly a little bit here too. But overall, their shape is boxy, right? Overall, so some of them I'll kind of make a little bit more boxier. There you go, we're in there, we're in there. All right, and ah, oh, you know, they're so cool. I just wanna keep on going. And by the way, guys, you can keep on going with this. You know, don't feel like you need to rush. I'm the only one that needs to rush. All right, cool. I'm gonna move on to a different, um, different one, different coral. All right, so over here, I'm gonna do this one. So this one starts out as kind of like a circle-ish shape. It's not a perfect circle. And then inside that uh, perfect or imperfect uh, you know, sh circle is shape, you get our veins, or you could think of it as roots. And there's a lot of them, so many. And they kind of all kind of radiate from this point too. And then while we're here, I, I think I'm gonna do this one too. Kind of looks like little cactuses with little tiny dots. That's the texture. You might not be able to get the texture of this that much, but I think if you put all the little veins, I think that'll read as a texture. So let me do the first one I talked about first. And I'll have it poking out right here. So I'm gonna do that light kind of oval shape. And this is the part I'm gonna say they radiate from. And it's gonna start out like this, and it's gonna start out like that, and go in this direction, and go in that direction. See if it wants to go in that direction, I'm gonna let it. So I kind of just trust my intuition. And if you do that, guys, if you trust your own intuition, then, you, you know, it's gonna be the right answer. Then I'm just gonna erase the parts now here. See, that do not make sense. Thank you, thank you. I live to erase. That is my purpose in life. All right, there we go. Um, let's do the other one, the cactusy looking one, and you just kinda have to find where you wanna put it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it's over here, and because it's in the foreground, I'm gonna make it large, see? And then there's ones that kind of come off off of it. And so I'll just make it a little bit darker just to show it's in front. And then put my little dots. And some of these little dots can break up the edge, see? And that way it's not so perfect. Right? So there's just so many things that are happening all at once. Um, let's do this one, but over here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, it kind of goes off the page a little bit. And here, here, here. All right, now this white one over here, it's kind of similar in the sense that, you know, it's similar to this where it looks like little roots or veins, but they're kind of spaced further apart. And you also see that there's thick, chunky ones, see? And then you also see that where they stop, they're not necessarily like a circle, you know, where it stops. They all kind of just stop in random areas. And so I'm gonna put one right here. See, and it's kind of just sticking out. That's the main thick one, the main thick, uh, you know, branch. And then here's some thinner branches that go off of it. And it doesn't have to stop at that circle shape. And that's the reason why I didn't do the circle shape, because it doesn't have to stop there. And so some of them are long. And oh, you know what? I'm gonna put this in front of that. Check that out. There, that's showing a little bit of depth too. Another one in front of it. All right, let's kind of back out and just kind of take a look at what, we, what we've done. Look at that, so much detail. We've chopped up this shape into smaller shapes, right? And then if you take a look at like, just kind of like this kind of rocky area right here, I mean, it's jaggedy and there's a little, lot of little dots and it's sharp, you know? And I'm talking about, um, you know, th this area right here this area right here, you know, this area right here. So if you want to just think of them as underground rocks that are jaggedy and have little dots, 
I think that's a good way to kind of, kind of think about it. And this is where I'm going to push hard and not care. So look at that. Squiggly, 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 and jaggedy, jaggedy, jaggedy. And maybe behind some of this stuff, look at that. I'm really just, I'm just going, you know what? I'm not afraid to go dark. I'm not afraid. Let's get bold. And so just some some dark marks, right? Like that, they're just kind of jaggedy and just unafraid. These marks are not scared. They're just kind of like, yeah, yeah, we're here. And you know what? This one, I'm just going to do another brain. Might as well. Another brain. See? Just kind of felt that it needed to be like that. All right. If you take a look at this image, let's zoom in close. And I'm talking about this right here. You know, and there's a lot of it and there's even some of it over here. So these are just kind of wild. So that, you know, I, I like to think of it as grass or fe a feather. So you have the main stem and you have all these little things kind of going off of that main stem. If you want to do like a feather shape first, then put the stem in the middle and then do something like this, you can, but that's a little extra work because you're gonna eventually have to uh, erase the parts that don't make sense, you know? So I'd rather just kind of do it this way and just kind of stop in the right areas. Like where to put, where to put? Do I want to put it in front of the fan? Do I want to put it in back of the fan? See, those are all questions that popped in my head. I'm gonna put it in front of the fan. Look at that. Super fun, guys. I am having the time of my life, and I get to really enjoy that with you guys. Look at that, and look at this one's crooked. Look at how crooked that gets, kind of curvy. Okay, I am pretty much done with the foreground. I think it's time to add some foreground fish. And so if you take a look at these fishies here, there's a lot of them. Uh, basically, fish are super easy to do if you know how to do an oval and triangles. You know, we talked about that yesterday, combining shapes to make something. We can combine shapes to make fish. I'm just curving the oval shape a little bit. The more you curve it, the more it looks like the fish is moving, okay? So it's like, Kind of the tail is kind of going back and forth. So if you want it to look like it's moving, kind of curve the oval. If you don't want it to look like it's moving or more kind of floating, then you can just do an oval. See, and look where I'm putting the tail. See that? So it looks like it's going left to right because of this. We have one part of the fish which is here that's stretching. See how that stretches? And then one part of the fish that's squeezing. Stretch and squeeze. And then I'm going to put the back fin. More fins here. I'm gonna put the gills, put the eyes, and I'm gonna make him happy, He's super happy. Maybe when the shark comes, he might become scared. A little bit of texture, right? And there you go, you have like a swimming fish and you could do little bubbles of that if you want to, you don't have to. Uh, I'm gonna put one here and I'm gonna put like a more of this type of shape. And I'm also gonna kind of curve it a little bit. And I'm gonna put the tail right there. A little bit of texture in there. Here's my back fin. Uh, and then the gills, eyes. And you could put more than one circle, see? If I put more than one circle, that's a different style, you know? Different type. Oh, let's do the long nose. Kind of inspired by that yellow one I saw earlier at the re reference. Yeah, so he, he's not moving as much, I guess, because he's not super curved, but that's okay. He's just kind of floating. Uh, and you know what? If you want to look like there's little fish super far away, and do this to a couple of them, okay? Kind of make it blurry, like a blurry oval, and like a blurry tail, a blurry back fin, and and don't worry about bringing out detail too much, and keep it blurry. It's gonna look super cool because it's gonna look like you have fish in the background. And so one of the tricks that I like to do to show that I have a lot of fish, because you know it does take a lot of time doing one fish, and then bringing out all the detail for that one fish, that takes a lot of time. And so if I wanna make it look like there's hundreds of fish, I'll just put like hundreds of dots. <laughs> hundreds of blurry dots with little tails. Right, and then 
if I do a good job on a few of the fish, meaning I put detail on them and like I really draw and make some of their edges super hard, it's gonna really work to show that I also have that depth. Look at that. So we have so many already in just a quick amount of time. Maybe a few more, maybe like some kind of long blurry dots. All right, so I'm gonna put the middle ground. It's time to work on that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start by doing this diagonal line. I'm filling it in with a little bit of value. And it's, I don't think it'll get as dark as the foreground, you know? If it does, then that just means I need to make my foreground a little bit darker. And so I'm just repeating myself now. It's, it's basically doing the exact same thing I did on the foreground, but just kind of making it more random where I put these things. I'm gonna put similar, you know, fish life too. Maybe one that I'll add that's different is this one right here. And also this one. So this one's like, it's kind of like a snake with like a fat kind of head. See that? And just have a lot of them. See that? Or you could think of it as ogre ears, like Shrek's ears, I guess. And over here, these are kind of like similar to the branch ones that we did, but just really thick branches like that. See? Really thick. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of keep those things in mind when I do them. So I guess this one's gonna be like the ogre ear one. See that? See? And I'm just not worried about getting them perfect. That's the reason why I'm able to draw it fast. Uh, over here, you know, that kind of thick branchy one with that. And you could fill it in with a little bit of value once you draw it in. And then, you know, over here, I'll maybe do a, a, brain, a brain one. See, and we know what how to do that. And so that way we can kind of go really fast already. I'll do the fan one up here. See, fan one, fan one, another one. Once again, squared off edges that are jaggedy. Really, the, the, most of the details should belong to the front ground because it's just closer. You can see it a little bit better. But I'll do another foreground area right here, actually, in this little corner. So it kind of diagonals this way, and I'm gonna make it dark because it is foreground. And then all the detail coming off of it is gonna be dark because it is foreground stuff. See that? And just kind of mix it up. If you feel like doing the feather one, do the feather one. If you feel like you're doing the brain one, do the brain one. If you feel like doing the fan one, do the fan one. I'm gonna put a starfish, see the starfish here? So I'm gonna put one like right here in the middle ground, kind of clinging on to this. Little tiny dots and I might make it a little darker. Uh, around the starfish, that way you can just see it pop a little bit more. Just a little bit darker, not a lot. More little dots everywhere. And there you go, you have a starfish. All right, now for the shark. So once again, it's gonna be that long oval, because the shark is like a long oval shape. I'm gonna put it up here. So long, and look how I'm drawing light, really light. And I'm really curving it because I, I want this, you know, it's a really curved oval. I want this shark to really look like it's moving and the, the fins on the back are really kind of, you know, flapping. I don't know if that's a good word for it or waving left to right. You see that the tail of the shark is super sharp. You see that super sharp. And then we have like that back, you know, that back fin. We have two of them that come out here and there's more fins in the back too as well. You know, this is the scary fin. If you see that in the water, people are like, oh my God, there's a shark. And the sharks are like, why are you so scared? We don't mean harm, we're misunderstood. And see how I'm erasing the parts that don't make sense, see that? Erasing the parts that just don't make any sense at all. It shouldn't be there. And I'm gonna add tone to the top of the shark. And that that's a camouflage thing. So when you're looking down on the shark, it blends in with the dark part of the ocean. And then the bottom is light, you know, it's a light value. It's like basically white. So when you're looking up at the shark, you can't see it either because, you know, the sky is light. So some camouflage, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead and put that scary back fin. A lot of people think that's a very scary shape to see when they are swimming. 
I probably would be freaked out myself if I was swimming and I saw that shape pop up near me. Uh, and then I'm gonna do the sharp shape here. And I'm just gonna go, oh, I, I hope that this shark is, is nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the gills in right here. And I'm not gonna make this shark scary. I really don't wanna make it scary. So I'm gonna make it so the mouth is just kind of like normal, just a normal face. He's not happy, he's not sad, he's not like mad. He's just kind of like a normal, I'm just swimming. And I'm gonna put the little eyes and put one more little dot inside. So look, he's kind of a nice shark. And here's some little noses, little nostril holes. I'm sure there's like a proper term for that. All right, and I could push a little harder now that I have most of the shark. Uh, I'm pretty happy with most of it. I'm gonna push a little harder and, you know, be a little bit more confident. And in the parts where it doesn't make sense, there's a few parts here that I could erase. Look at that. Erase, erase, that doesn't make sense anymore. All right, then I have a shark. And if I wanna put little bubbles to show that it's swimming a little faster than I can. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is put like the background and so I'm gonna say that there's a background over here. And I'm just kind of starting with the tone, but I'm gonna say it angles out like this and goes like this. So another coral reef in the background. And for those of you guys that wanna get super creative, you could put a boat in the background, like with sunken treasure. You could do a mermaid if you don't wanna do a shark. Totally fine, not everyone likes to draw sharks and I understand that. Um, yeah, it's whatever you want to put in the background. You could put like a diver in the background. I mean, there's so many ways to get creative with it. And see if we if we do a good job with the values like that, you know, we're gonna show that depth. Now, if you like that video, make sure you hit the like button to help us grow the YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button to make sure that you get notified for future videos. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.